Hi everyone, I'm doing a review today of the Kenwood 750 mixer. Um, this is the second newest model of the Kenwood mixers um, and um, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about the different parts uh, that it comes with. So uh, this is uh, the K mixer, this is the dough hook, and what I have set up in here is the whisk. So those are pretty well known parts and they are for different things like this one is for making your meringues, your egg mixtures, cheesecakes, etc. And then the K mixer is for your cake batters and so on. And of course don't look as for the dough hook. Um, so let's start right here at the bottom. This is your uh, switch to lift the head of it and you'll notice that unlike some of the other brands out there like the KitchenAids, um, there's actually some type of hydraulic um, situation in here so that you don't really have to exert any energy. Just push this and it pops up itself. So that's really great, especially if you're, you don't want to get too much, uh, too much of the machine dirty when, you, when you've got dough on your hands, etc. Uh, the other thing that it comes with, of course, is uh, the guard. And it's, this one's really great. Uh, I noticed I had a kitchen aid mixer and it had a guard but it didn't have this flap on top and so I've noticed this one comes with the flap and I've re really relied on this because especially when you're making your icings and you're pouring your icing sugar in while you're mixing um, it doesn't come all the way up into your face so that's really really nice. Um, this also comes with a, a spatula. They also threw in um, an extra mixer. This is and I actually have to look this up because it it's not one of the usual types of mixers. So this is actually, um, it's called, an, I think, an all-purpose, what's it called? A, like a flexi mixer, sorry. And it's it's like, a, basically it's a whisk. And you know how when you're, when you're mixing things, you have to turn it off once in a while and grab everything from the side using your, your whisk. This actually eliminates that. And you, so you use this as your mixer or you can use your whisk to whisk everything up and in the last few stages, pop this in instead, and it makes sure you've got everything uh, scraped off the edges. So, and I should mention, this was actually not even included in the box, like it didn't say it was included. So it was a nice surprise to, uh, uh, once I opened the box and found it, and I actually looked it up and just quickly, just to see how much they, um, Amazon would charge for it, and on the US site it was like $50. So that's a really sweet deal and a really nice surprise that Kenwood throws in there. Uh, the other thing that I had to do, uh, and the, the tools are included for it, um, is to adjust the height of your some of your mixers. So for instance, or to explain further, um, you want to make sure that the bottom of whatever mixing um, attachment you're using is really close to the bottom of the bowl so that you're not wasting the energy and you're getting stuff right from the bottom. And so what you do here to ensure that that's possible. For inst so when I first set it up, it had about a, like a, I'd say half a centimeter and I felt like I could try and make that a smaller space and therefore be able to mix more of my ingredients. So what you need to do here using the, um, the tool that they include in the box is you loosen this part here and once that part's sufficiently loose, and I don't want to loosen it in now because it's the perfect height, so I don't want to mess that part up. But once you get this nut loosened, you tr you can turn this clockwise or counterclockwise, clockwise depending on whether you want to raise it or lower it. And then once it, once it's uh, in position, tighten it, and you can pop it back in. So um, uh, to demonstrate how this works today, I'm actually going to be making some cheesecakes. And I'm going to be starting with the, the base, so the graham cracker base. And for that, I'm going to be using my cane attachment. Um, and I will need to use my, my guard. And so um, one other thing I should mention is, so it's locked here at the highest point. It stops at two levels, so once here and once there. And in order to bring it back down, it's actually, um, you have to push it back a little bit more. And then hold the switch here and it comes down like that. Um, so let me just go ahead and put my K mixer in for you guys. There, it's locked. And 
Just a little bit of information about the speeds here. So it starts at um, the slowest speed here and it's going to get quite quite loud. That's another thing I noticed it, is it is noisy and obviously that's attributable to how much power this machine has. So just so you guys get an idea of how noisy it is, I'm going to turn it on and go through all the uh, power levels for you. So this is the first level here and you probably can still hear me and it's a really nice slow, um, slow speed um, to get things going and of course that helps when you start with the slow one that helps um, you know mix your ingredients enough so that it doesn't splash at you when you speed it up. So go. One thing you probably noticed is once you get to the end, and of course this is a totally empty um, bowl right now, but it does start to shake a little bit. And one thing that I do like is that it, it does have some rubber um, soles at the bottom here, there's four, and that helps keep it in place. I know some uh, other uh, mixers, like some of the older KitchenAids, not the new ones, but some of the older ones, um, there was a problem because once you had a dough going in there, sometimes it would start to creep on your counter. And so i hopeful it doesn't happen with Kenwood, but I haven't used it for any really strong doughs yet. All right, the other thing I want to mention is that it has um, this P feature that's for pulse. So once you get it on the P feature, it gives you a little burst. So for instance, I'll turn it on here. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready to put some ingredients in. So I've in. got my graham cracker crumbs in there. I'm just gonna add some butter as well. And a little bit of sugar. Okay, and I'm Pushing it down now to lock in place. You hear that click, it's good to go. So I'm gonna start uh, with my K-mixer in there and turn it onto the lowest setting here. And it's hitting nearly the bottom of the bowl and you can tell that because you start to see some of the bowl busy. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. not to put the guard on at this time just to see if I need it for this purpose uh, for the time being and I, I don't think I do. The bowl is quite deep and so I'm not finding that anything is kind of coming out but it might once I get to the higher speeds or if I get more ingredients. All right so I've got a mixture in here for my cheesecake and I'm, I just wanted to show you guys what the whisk attachment looked like when it was working so I'll give it a whirl. cheesecake mixture is uh, getting its way going on its way so I'll, I'll let you guys go there thanks for watching I hope you like the review and if you found it helpful give me an upvote thanks